Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how I paint worn battered steel armour. So grab a brew, get comfortable and let's get cracking. So after I primed the model Chaos Black, I'm going to base coat this with a 50-50 mix of Citadel's Abaddon Black and Vallejo Model Air Dark Aluminium. This will take about two coats. Remember the Model Air colours are super thin and they do give good coverage but Two coats is probably the best. If you're enjoying the content I'm making, please subscribe to the channel. The channel is growing extremely fast right now and it's amazing to see. And also if you like the videos, give them a like and drop a comment as well if you really want to give me some feedback. And uh, ring that bell so you don't miss out any future content. Between cords to speed everything up, I used my hairdryer. So after the two cords applied, you should get something that looks a little bit like this. So now that everything's dry and you're happy enough with your base coat, what we're going to do now is wash the metallic areas with a 50-50 mix of um, Ajax Earth Shade and Newell Oil. You can use contrast paints here, but just make sure that they are super thinned because a lot of the contrast paints um, can be actually quite opaque. So once that's done, just allow the model to dry or use your hair dryer and then we can get on to the next stage. So once everything's dry, we're going to start to dry brush the metallic areas with the dark aluminum from the Vallejo Model A. And as you can see, I'm pulling the brush down the model because I kind of want it to create some sort of like scratches. This is just a, an old brush that I've just snipped the point off to create like a little dry brush. You can see me sort of just pulling the brush across the edges. Um, that'll just sort of define them and it'll create those little scratches as well. Once that's done, we're going to get some Vallejo Model Air Silver and start stippling and doing little dots around the edges to create a rough worn kind of look. So you're kind of just going to be painting those little scratches into the armour. This will start to give you your worn effect as well as your edge highlighting. So 
This effect is really, really good for um, things like Stormcast Eternals, Chaos Warriors, even things like Grey Knights, um, and Orcs and Necrons as well. So next we're going to take some glazes of GW's Rhinox Hide and we're just going to sort of run this into the deepest shadow areas and glaze up on the top of the flat panels like those on the chest. What this will do is it will sort of just tint the metallic areas to sort of give it a browny, dirty look which will then help enhance the next stages of the weathering. You can, at this stage, stop here. You do not have to do the, the next couple of stages and it will just look just as good on the tabletop as, as it will later. So now with some thinned Scrag Brown, we're gonna be running this into the deepest recesses of the armor. And you're wanting to allow the capillary action from the brush uh, for the paint just to flow into those areas. You can afford to let it run in quite thick. If it gets too thick, you can always get a clean brush, just come back and um, absorb it up and just feather it out. As you can see, I'm just allowing the paint to do the work. It's just running straight off the brush into those deepest recesses. Thank you. 
and there you go now for the last final stage which is to use GW's Fire Dragon Bright again thinned really down and using the capillary action from the brush you just want to sort of give like a, it's kind of like highlighting the scrag brown areas you want to focus it in the sort of more prominent points where like liquid and dirt would sort of rest and around rivets and things like that Just make sure that the scrag brown is 100% dry before using the stage, otherwise the two paints will mix together. So once this stage is done, all that would be left to do is finish the other details on the miniature and you'll be done super, super quick. And that's the worn metal armor finished. Hope you liked it. And that's the video. <laughs> really easy, really quick and simple, and super, super effective. And will look great on things like Stormcast Eternals, Necrons, and even Chaos Warriors. Um, very quick, it would probably take about, I don't know, less than an hour to do a full miniature which is super quick if you're going to be speed painting your army so i hope you enjoyed it um so please subscribe to the channel drop a comment like the video and also ring that bell so you don't miss out on any future content and i will see you in the next one goodbye <laughs>